Glasson Dock on the Lancashire coast. A shipment of phosphorus is being unloaded. Phosphorus is an essential nutrient for all life and a vital fertiliser for food production globally. Without it, we wouldn't be able to feed the world's population. But it's a finite resource that is mined as phosphate rock in only a few countries. This shipment comes from Russia. The UK has no phosphorus mines, so we have to import it, making us part of a global phosphorus cycle. But we're also part of a local cycle, which starts here at Glasendock. The phosphorus unloaded at the dock travels six miles down the road to Glasson Fertilisers. Here, it's mixed with other nutrients and packaged up ready for delivery to farms. In the northwest of England, phosphorus fertiliser is mainly applied to pasture to help the grass grow, providing food for cows which are kept for milk production. Some of the phosphorus that is taken up in the grass eaten by the cows can be recycled back onto the fields as slurry and manure. Some of the phosphorus remains in the soil and the rest ends up in the cow's milk. Here at Warnings Ice Cream, three miles from Glasgow Fertiliser, they produce milk from their own herd of dairy cows and turn it into their famous dairy ice cream. On average, about half of the phosphorus used as fertiliser gets absorbed by plants and crops and ends up in the food we eat. The remaining half staying in the soil, or sometimes small amounts are lost to rivers and streams. Adults, like myself, only absorb a small proportion of the phosphorus in our food. Most of it passes straight through us. And travels through the sewer network to a wastewater treatment works, like this one, six miles from Warnings Ice Cream and just up river from Glasgow Dock. Here, around 65 to 85 percent of the phosphorus contained in the sewage is removed and processed into digestate which will be spread back onto agricultural land and again help the grass grow. The remaining phosphorus not removed is discharged into the river loom and travels downstream past the dock where it arrived out into the sea, meaning it's lost from our local cycle. Globally, our current phosphorus use is inefficient. Phosphorus that is lost from different stages of our food system is not only a waste of this valuable resource but can cause environmental problems such as eutrophication and algal blooms. We need better stewardship and new technologies that help improve the circularity of local and global phosphorus cycles. Researchers at Lancaster University, the Centre for Ecology and Hydrology and the NA Agri-Food Programme work on all aspects of the phosphorus cycle to help improve phosphorus stewardship both globally and locally. <laughs>